Gorgeous. Dad, you look like a ninja. What's going on? I just rang to say that I can't ring because I'm going surfing and the waves are really bad. What do you mean surfing? Marley, who who with? Go. Who's that? Stuart. Who's Stuart? Marley, Marley listen, it's dangerous. Got I don't... to go, Dad. I'll see you later. Bye. Mr. Moore. Yeah, I'm looking at her now. Well, you've got to give me a couple of minutes to... Yes, listen, Mr. Moore. Please, let me do my job. I'll get back to you. Fine. Quand je finis ma glace, je vais aller me baigner. When I finish my ice cream, I will go for a swim. Honestly, it's no bother. Really? No, it's an old recipe. I've been doing it for ages. Well, I used to go um, grape picking in, in France uh, during the summer. OK, fair enough. Saves me having to fill my house with smelly French cheese. The Italian place. That sounds great. I'll see you there. <laughs> Ciao, Bella, yourself. Cheerio. Yup. Does he have surgeon's hands, your doctor? I don't know, Detective Constable. He's never tried to operate on me before. You're at least on the waiting list. <laughs> Jackson Brody, thank God you called. Life can begin again. Are you interfering with sheep? You ever been to Paris? 
I have not, as a matter of fact. Will that be all? I'm saving up. A trip. Maybe take a friend. That's uh, why I cancelled my AA subscription. And you've broken down and you want me to send your squad car over? Well, that'd be very generous, but really, I'm going to talk to you about Paris. Goodbye, Jackson. It was you. Oh, Miss McDonald. Yes, indeed, exactly. But it's not Saturday morning. Is it? Read around the subject. Oh, set text. I just want to pass my exams. <laughs> Reggie, you are going to pass your exams. You're going to pass them with flying colours. You got your scholarship, didn't you? No many girls get that. Certainly not. Certainly not. Ten past four from Aberdeen. It disturbs the putty with a particular rhythm all of its own. After go. the muscle butter. To get to my meeting. Are you right to drive with your... With my delicate constitution? Of course. <laughs> they are going to pray for me tonight, Reg. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we shall gather together with them in the clouds to meet with our Lord in the air. Sounds pretty bracing, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All that movement, fresh air. <laughs> Well, stay if you like. Take some books, give them some air. I can't reach up for them anymore. Read around the subject, Reggie. Read around. Can you hear me? Can you move? Come on. 
Bye, Jackson. Bye. <laughs> that would be nice, but um, my son's at home, so. Um... I'd love to meet him. <laughs> no, there'd be no ulterior motive other than coming home to meet your son. Aye, uh, well, the thing is, he's being a bit of a little shit at the moment. See, I love him more than anything, but he's being a bit of a little shit. And I don't know how he'd be. Never ever thought I'd go on a date again. <laughs> I was, uh, rusty enough I did at 15. <laughs> no, well, you're doing OK. <laughs> you're keeping the conversation alive. You are being relatively charming, and you haven't tried to stick your hand up my jumper, which is what all the boys did when I was 15. Clever boys. Mm. Did you let them? Never. Well, maybe next time you can make me that souffle. Tell me about France. What? Great picking. That's apparently what you did. Oh, I, well, no, I, I think France is overrated. I've only ever been to Paris. Paris is good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello? Hi. Train crash? Yes. Can we, um...
is it, sir? Huh? Mr. Jones. Jones? Yeah, that's you. Say so on your driving license. Jones. such a song and dance about it, I'd have come and picked you up myself. Who are you? Who are you? And what were you doing in a train crash, Mr Jones? What the hell, you are beautiful. <laughs> right, well, you've had a wee bang on the head there. Michelle didn't come home last night. Mr Moore, let me get you a tea. It's hard. I know for, for Brody it's a profession, but this is my life, you know, my, my, my heart. I've been calling ever since he left the hotel. Oh, of course, I completely understand, but Jackson is a total professional. If we can't reach him, it's probably because he's working on your case right now. So if you just sit down... I don't want to make a nuisance of myself. If you sit down, I'll make you a cup of tea and give Jackson another try, OK? OK. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Get your unreliable, unprofessional ass back into your office right now or you won't have an office to come back to or an assistant because I am not a bloody agony aunt. Don't remember me, do you? You're not my daughter. I'm praying to God you're not my girlfriend. <laughs> you're a policeman? I'm a private detective. I saved your life. Cheers. You cut your arm right down to the bone. Had a blood transfusion. I'm sorry, I cracked your ribs. Your heart stopped. Mm -hmm. Dr Hunter taught me how to do CPR in case anything happened to the baby. They think you might have brain damage. Excellent. Policeman, private detective, soldier. You're a soldier, right? Your blood type's tattooed. Like my dad. Except didn't do him any good. Were you in the Gulf War? He wasn't a second. Friendly fire. Never even met him anyway. I bought you some new clothes. Your others were shredded. And they were covering bugs and guts and stuff, so I, I threw them away. Where's my stuff? My mobile. No mobile. You, your wallet. It's not mine. Why did they give you my things? Told him I was your daughter. It's just simpler to tell people simple stories, you know. You ever see Robin Hood? Uh, Prince of Thieves? 
The one with Kevin Costner in it. It's my mum's favourite film. You remember the bit with Kevin Costner, uh, Robin O'Loxley, saved Morgan Freeman's life? I haven't got a bloody clue what you're talking about. I'm not bloody yeah. Well, Morgan Freeman was bound to Kevin Costner then. Until the debt was repaid. Same sort of situation now, isn't it? I saved your life. You're bound to me. You can only be released by reciprocation. Days. Going somewhere nice? I've got to get back to work. I I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, what a tribute to my skills. It's a miracle. Really? Yeah, thanks. You missed the sarcastic inflection. Listen again. Really? The old woman in the car. What happened to her? She was dead. Like you will be if I let you go. Do you even know who you are yet? Unfortunately, I do. My name's Jackson Brody. Get back into bed. Mr. Brody. Mr. Moore. Sir, I'm, I've been in an accident. Look, uh, Michelle didn't come back from that work. Do. Right. I, I called her when, when we had her out. You know what she is? Just give us a minute. Just, just one minute. I had to let him wait in there. He wouldn't stop. Anything urgent? Uh, but yeah, Marley phoned. Shit. Want to know what you want for Christmas? What time is it in New Zealand now? About 1953. Please. OK, come in. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But I think you're right. Your wife's having an affair. Just as a just a, a case of, of you, you you think you, you could be wrong. I saw them kissing. Well, kissing doesn't is. <laughs> There's plenty of people give each other a friendly kiss at Christmas. It it wasn't that type of kiss. Was it a long kiss, a short one, a peck in the cheek? He had his hand on her breast. Oh. She didn't come home last night. If you had a row, I'd suggest she's probably with him. I want you to find out where she is. I'm not sure that's a good idea. This your daughter? Yes. Marley. That's right. I don't believe Michelle's doing this. Not because, well, I don't mind what she does to me, but to do this to the kids at Christmas? No, no, could, could you get hold of her and, 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 and just ask her to speak to the kids? Just, just to think about the kids. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
in hospital visiting. Oh dear, is, is there anyone? No, where is she? She's safe for me to come in today. No, she's she's gone away for a wee bit. Well, she didn't call. She always calls. Oh well, your mobile's been off. She didn't leave a message. Where's she gone? She gonna be away for Christmas? It's, well, maybe, you know, we, we don't... Uh... Oh. You know, she's got an aunt in the family who's ill. She lives on her own in South Queensferry. An aunt. Aye. She drove down there last night. So we're not going to need you for... Well, I suppose we won't be needing you till after Christmas, OK? Grapes. I mean, you can go a whole year without eating grapes. Bananas, much better for you. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Uh, sorry, there was a guy here in this. Yes, he checked himself out. Right. I told him not to. Clearly, he'd no idea he was expecting such an attractive visitor. <laughs> sorry, no, he's just a colleague for, from the police. That's where you were. I indeed. <laughs> Freeman. No, you're Morgan Freeman. I'm Kevin Costner. How did you get my address, Mr. Costner? I found this postcard in your old clothes when I was throwing them away. What's Marley doing in New Zealand? Is she on holiday? I know her own bloody business. Didn't happen to see my wallet and you're going through my pockets, did you? Or my phone? I told you in the hospital I'm not a thief. I'm a nanny. Well, I was at school, but I'm still studying. I want to go to university. But I'm a nanny now, though, as a sort of temporary, narrow definition. Dr Hunter doesn't even really like don't a word. Don't feel you're responsible for me. I don't. You're responsible for me. I'm Kevin Costner. Is that the only film you've seen? I'm more of a reader. I read very widely. You're a private detective, right? You find people. Well, some I find, some I lose. I'm worried about Dr Hunter and her baby, Gabriel. Mr Hunter said that she's at a sick aunt, but that's crap, cos Dr Hunter told me loads of times she doesn't even have any family. I don't know where she's gone. What's your name? Reggie. Well, Regina. But if you to say to someone your name's Regina, they tend to say, wow, that rhymes with vagina, which it does. But, you know, we should start with the aunt in South Queensferry. Who is Dr Hunter? Joanna Hunter. 
my friend, my boss, Gabriel's mother, Mr Hunter's wife. When did it last year? Gabriel's first birthday. How was she? Uh, a little bit sad, pensive, wistful. Imagine eating ice cream for the first time, would you? <laughs> All right, mister, what have we got for you? One. That's it. Gabriel will never be a baby again. Where's his dad? Oh, I don't know. Performing some service to the leisure industry. But it's Gabriel's first birthday. Are you not furious? Are you not incandescent? <laughs> <laughs> well, why should it be? It's better that he's not here. <laughs> oh, it's not too cold, is it? Well, they're not close, her and husband. Indifferent, I would say. And uh, do they fight? No, she basically ignores him. Lets him do his stuff. She once told me she was happiest when Gabriel was inside her belly. She didn't even tell him whether Gabriel was a boy or a girl. Does he mind? No. He's always busy. He's something to do with amusements or you know, hotels. I can't tell you categorically. He's nearly always on the phone, running propositions by people, facilitating idea showers. It's not up to me to take a piss out of someone's idiom, though, is it? Bridget, you... why are you telling me? The marriage isn't great. Well, well, that happened. Yeah, but there's more. You didn't see her when she was on her way to work. Bridget, do you think that you can make people do things that they don't want to do? Yeah, of course you can. But if somebody asked you to harm yourself, would you do it? No. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> oh, well, life can be very complicated, Reggie. There's no template, no pattern we're supposed to follow. Just make it up as we go along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he loves that, doesn't he? The wee yeah. dog. Knowing that when light is gone, love remains for shining. Isn't that lovely? Uh, Elizabeth Barrett Browning wrote that for a dog. <laughs> Come on, shall we? Come on, wee man. Well, you think somebody's trying to hurt her? Or make her hurt herself, maybe. She was scared, I think. Was she often scared? No. And she'd never go away. Not without saying not to me. Well, she's just your boss. She's my friend. She's gone. She doesn't answer her mobile. She left the baby's comforter. She'd never leave that. He'd scream and he'd scream. You have to help me. <sighs> Fine. I'll see what I can do. Tomorrow. Hello, Michelle. My name's Jackson Brody. Yeah. 
I'm a private investigator. Ah! 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 He called me last night, told me he knew exactly what I was up to. Told me he'd sent someone to watch me. That would be me. I suppose you were just skulking in the bushes, were you, taking photos? Pretty much. Not a very nice way to make a living, that, is it? Uh, there are worse ways. There are better. Well, that was the last straw. I'm not staying with a man that sends a private detective after me. The basis of a marriage is trust. You are having an affair, aren't you, Michelle? <sighs> Gary doesn't give me space. I need space. He gets that Presbyterian look in his eye and it's like... Do you know, he wouldn't even let me phone my friends after we got married. And if I want to go out, like, even just Pilates or something like that, it's, it becomes, like, all I want is a wee bit of fresh air. Just something that makes me feel good about myself. Someone that's not constant. Whatever. Why don't you just tell him you're safe? Because he won't take it. He'll come after me. I can't face it. Look, all I want is a few days' peace. Just a bollocks-free Christmas for a change. What about the kids, Michelle? What kids? Well, I think the kids deserve to know you're all right. We haven't got kids. Did he tell you that we've got kids? <laughs> right, I'll tell him you're safe. No, don't tell him anything. I won't tell him anything. I'm done. You, uh, <clears throat> enjoy your Christmas. You won't see me again. Dr. H got inheritance used at all to buy this heinously expensive place. Her words. She uses a lot of good words, like atavistic. Roger. What? Could you just talk less, please? I've got a head injury. Kitchen. Told you. The wee doggy, they'd never leave without it. All right, you go upstairs and see if she's packed any clothes or contact lenses or anything. What are you going to do? Never mind about me. She has three identical suits for work. There's only two in the wardrobe. As soon as she gets home, she is out of that suit. Means she's still wearing it. Means she hasn't been home. Means she hasn't been home since. Do you know her maiden name? No. Why? I could look up her aunt. There isn't an aunt. There is no family. Garage. Hers? Well, maybe she didn't drive. You'll say she did. Well, she could have rented a car. The battery might be flat. Mm. 
try it then? Neil, we're going mad. What do we do? It's all right, Richard. But you go and tell him you were worried sick. You've been up all night and get a name for this and a number if you can. I'll be outside. Don't worry. Hey, Deborah, it's Louise. Uh, listen, there's no one in your office. Uh, no, I'm doing some Christmas shopping and Jackson's out on a job. But he's okay though, is he? Mm, spiritually or bodily? <sighs> bodily. Oh, cuts and bruises. He's fine. Bodily, more than okay, if you like that sort of thing. Yeah, well, he's not at home and he's not answering his phone. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he lost it in the accident. <sighs> well, could you get him to give me a ring when he gets in, please? Okay. Bloody idiot. You said it. Cheers. to death here. Have you any idea how hard I've worked? Look, Mark, I'm begging you. What the hell are you doing here? M Mark? Mark? The fuck? Look, I've told you they're not here. You're not needed. What are you doing? Um... I've a good mind to take that key away. Reggie, I'm sorry. It's bad day at Black Rock, you know. Don't tell Joey you saw me smoking. I'll know you're the end of it. I, I was just wondering if they were back yet. Like I said, I'll let you know. Yeah, I... But the thing is, it's the third week of a month and uh, sh she hasn't paid me yet. All right. Sorry, Reggie, I didn't know. I, I don't know what Joe gives you. Yeah, this. This aunt, uh, maternal, paternal, uh, is she on a mum's side or a dad's? It's Agnes Barker in South Queen's Ferry, Your Honour. You got an, a, a number? OK. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll see you when she gets back. <laughs> Car. Should we hire one? He's just giving me some what, cash. What? Did you not get a number? No. Agnes Barker, that's the name of the aunt. There can't be that many Agnes Barkers in South Queen's Ferry. Maybe he was telling the truth. But, well, she did always tell me she never had any family. And I suppose it's just an aunt. Maybe she's not genetically related. Maybe she's just married to an uncle Listen, or something. I can't rent the car. My license was in my wallet. We've got Andrew Jones's. Right. Thank you. 
You're joking. We think this is Antiques Roadshow. You could be anyone. I'm not though, I'm Andrew Jones. You look like you're on the run, pal. Photo ID and credit card. I've lost my boat. I was in an accident. What? A car accident? If there was an Nissan Micra involved, yeah. On a train. They might have seen all the news. My gran's dying. She, yes, Mum. We want to see her before she passes over. You know, if you're telling lies, you should really only tell one at a time. It's Christmas. Joy. <sighs> what do I care? They handed me my notice yesterday. Yeah. I want to make a detour. Right. Where are we going? Right, right. I mean, left, left! All right. Second, second. What are you doing here? I'm with her. What's she doing here? Was it her in, in the car? You know Miss McDonald? Miss? I'm very sorry. Are you family? I'm a pupil. She was my teacher. And you are? Reggie Teak. You don't know if she'd been depressed lately, do you, Reggie? She had a brain tumour the size of a mushroom yet, I do. Shouldn't I have been driving? Because of the tumour? No, because she was a bloody awful driver. What are you doing? Leave her stuff alone! Stop going through that! You just need to... You don't know if she had any kids, you Reggie? No. She was a spinster and she was an only child. You need someone to identify the body. Not now, Marcus. He was a bit attacked. Call you later. Okay. Okay, Mike, this is done here. <laughs> you just keep turning up, don't you, Jackson? <laughs> I'm beginning to think you're my nemesis. She used to teach me at the posh school. She was helping me through my A-levels. I have to do them in my spare time. You might you leave? What? It's cool. I think they stay on. Too expensive. No chance of a scholarship or anything? Not a scholarship, but... I had to work. Hey. I'm not, thanks to you. Come on. Dr. Andrew, bit of bloody will not be either. Uh, it's not exactly a hotbed of crime, is it? This is it. There he goes. Yes? Sorry to bother you. Can we have a quick word with Agnes Barker? Have you got a Ouija board, Andy? She's dead. 
And who would you be? I'm the woman who bought her house. What's it to you? Uh, we're friends of her niece, Joanna Hunter. Mrs Barker's been dead for eight months. I don't know anything about any niece. I told you. OK. So whether she lied to her husband or her husband lied to you. Where is she, then? Where is she? It's all right. It's going to be all right. Oh, it's not going to be right. I don't, don't know where she is. I will find her. I promise. That's what I do. Come on. Killed anyone in the operating Archie. table? Archie. Well, uh, I like to keep it down to one or two a week. It depends how pissed I've been the night before. <laughs> so you a football man or rugby man, Archie? I hate sport. Aye, Archie's an emo. No, I'm not. Ah, an emo. So what passes for emo nowadays? Jawbreaker, Sunny Day Real Estate. I saw Sunny Day Real Estate live in San Francisco. Were they good? Good, they're great. How long ago? Oh, it was about a year ago. I was out there working. Somebody invited me along. I'd not heard of them before. They were so good. This music's depressing. That's what my daughter says. Why is she in New Zealand? Why is she not with you? She filming The Hobbit. <laughs> No, she's not filming The Hobbit. It's a long and painful story. We got a long and painful drive. Oh, God! Trouble likes you, doesn't it? We have been acquainted. Second gear. Jackson, hmm? Last seen in the company of a teenage girl. Do you know, I, I bloody despair of you, man. I do... Jackson... How dare you not answer your phone to me? And how dare you walk out of the hospital in your state? And how dare you speak to me like that in there? Driving as if he was pushed. Because he's only got one arm. Reggie, please. Give us a break. A next job. Oh, aye. What force? You're a lot. More than the borders. Jackson, what's going on? Right. What's the problem? Stop my ass! Yeah. You're lucky if you like, sweetheart. Oh, what's Kill going him. on? Andrew Jones, Kill I'm arresting him. you for failing to comply with the terms of your parole. Andrew Jones, listen, I'm not Andrew Jones. That year's not Jones. enough for you, you murder piece of shit. Get off me! Oh. Get off me! Listen to me! Jackson! Oh. Jackson, get off me! Get off me! Let me go! That's what he's trying to get off me! Leave him alone! He's got a bad arm! My father could use a little mercy now. The fruits of his labor falling right slowly on the ground. His work is almost over.
won't be long.